Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, My Amish Neighbor. I want to talk about how Amish people get water to their house. And I apologize, I made a video about a month ago called How Do Amish Get Hot Water? And I really talked about how do they heat their water. And I just assumed that most people knew how wells worked and all that. And I apologize, I live out in the country and almost everybody out here has a well. And I didn't think that would be a question. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how the water gets to the house. Um, I don't know anybody that uses a cistern or anything like that. Everybody that I've talked to out here, they do use a well. But the problem is our well at our house runs on electricity to get pressure to it. And I'm, I'm going to explain that to you. It might get a little boring um, for people that don't like diagrams. So I'll try to keep it really simple. Um, probably that's how I'm going to explain it anyway, because I don't really um, get into all that stuff either, but I hope it helps. And I just want to thank my daughter for my beautiful flowers for my birthday. It was my birthday this past month and I turned 61 and I wanted to show my beautiful flowers that she gave me. I thought I'd share that. So let's move on. I'm going to take you to my well at my house and show you one that we have and how it works with electricity. And then I'm going to show you three different ways the Amish they pretty much have the same system, but the difference is they don't have the electrical component like we do. Their power sources are different. Always think that way. They use a lot of the same things that we use, but their power sources are different. Like think of the tractor. We use, you know, we hop on the tractor, turn the key and go. They use the horse for the power. So um, that's the best way I can explain it. Um, and people who live off the grid, they're always looking for ways to do things without being dependent on the electric company and that's that's basically a, a way to think of it in our terms you know as, as Englishmen as they call us all right so I'm gonna take you on a little tour and don't forget before you go don't forget you can watch that video that I just talked about how do the Amish get hot water I just put it above and you can also subscribe to my channel ask questions I get a lot of my ideas everybody kept asking me how do they get the water <laughs> you told me how they heat it so that's why I'm making this video all right here we go now that's my house there's a garden all fenced in here and my well is out here and it's roughly I'm gonna say about 60 feet from the house and I've got a dog in the way here this is Dora watch out Dora but here's the well sticking up out of the ground I'm going to show you a diagram but <laughs> real life this dog is licking me real life um, there's the well cap on top there and that's sticking into the ground a well is very narrow uh, just so children don't fall in and it stays pretty safe so you don't want animals falling in there or anything like that I got to show you these dogs here they are they're trying to here they are they're always getting into my videos there's Dora and there's Winky all right now I'm gonna show you the basement where underground there's a pipe or PVC that runs all the way to the house and I'm going to show you a picture of that in the basement where it goes to to the bladder or the pressure tank so this is the pressure tank here in the basement and you can see there's the electric box and all the parts that you saw in the diagram and it goes through these water lines all the way up into the house okay and the water line coming in from outside you can see over here there it is okay and it goes through the wall okay so there's your pressure tank this is what needs a power source to make sure the pump can run real quick before i go into the variations of getting water from the well i wanted to show you this diagram kind of what i just walked you through in real life but this is the pressure tank um, which this pressure has to be at a certain point to keep the pump pumping water up and when it goes down there's a switch here that will um, tell the system that the pressure has gone low and then it kicks on and it does it with electric so this just basically gives you a diagram like i said it might be more complicated than that but in layman's terms that's what's happening so now let's look at other variations of how the amish get this to work without using electric from the grid from the electric grid now they can make this work with solar that is kind of like a fourth way um, that's an obvious thing anytime you're talking about electric but i want to show you other ways that they can do it without using electricity number one the good old-fashioned hand pump if you go out and you pump your well by hand you can get water now you say that that's a lot of work but there are amish communities that do that 
there are pumps that will pump out like a cup of water at a time and then there's a more elaborate pumps that will pump out like 10 gallons of water at a time actually we bought one um we we kind of moved to the country to as a i call myself a mini prepper like just in case if we're stuck out here we've got a driveway that floods and things like that but if the electric goes out for an extended period of time we have a, a pump um hand pump that we can use that we so we can still get water um our pump our well has lots of water in it but we have to be able to get it out and so that's our backup system but the the amish will use that as their system they'll pump the water so that's the most basic way now some of you are probably saying oh, okay but how did they dig that well they buy houses that are already established we live out in the rural area and a lot of the houses out here already have wells put in so they buy house they will buy a house that already has a well or if they build they will hire somebody to put the well in they're allowed to hire other people they're just not allowed to run certain equipment on their own so they they fit in they get things done but they try to do it you know by following their church rules so yes they can hire somebody, a, a drill company, a well company to come in and put it in. That's not against their rules. They can hire Englishmen to do things for them, but they can't go in business with them, if that makes sense. So, all right, let's move on to the next one. Um, the next one is the windmill. I have a diagram of the windmill. And basically what's happening is the wind, of course, blows the windmill, which um, gives it power, which will operate the pump to pump the water up. So that's another way that some of them will get their water. Now notice over here, they have a storage tank. So as the, as the windmill's working and pumping the water, it has a place to go over here. And we actually have an Amish family out here that uses the system my husband has delivered to them, but they're kind of way out and we weren't able to get a picture of an actual one. Later, if I get one, maybe I can add it, but right now, here's a diagram. Um, the third way that a lot of your Amish will get water from the well is by using some kind of um, energy like diesel or gas or propane um, to run an engine that can just pull it up and, and run that pump. Basically, they can use a lawnmower engine, they can use a diesel engine, and they can use propane, a propane ran engine. But basically, that's the power source that they can use to make that work. And there you go. Those are the ways that the Amish can get water out of the well. I hope this was helpful. And uh, any more questions, you guys are asking lots of questions. I appreciate it. I've got a whole list of videos I'm going to be making to answer those questions. Um, thank you for that, because um, this is interesting. You're actually helping me learn a lot as I go along with you. Um, but thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.